All right, here we are back with another trigonometry problem. You can never get enough trigonometry, uh, just like cowbell. Everyone likes more cowbell and more trigonometry. Here we go. The diagram represents a small triangular field, uh, ABC, with BC 25. BAC is 55 and ACB is 75. Now write the ang size of angle ABC. Okay, no problem there. That's angle ABC is right here. Okay, so if we added those, that's, um, let's see, 55 plus 75 is 130. Um, so, you know, we just have to do 180 minus 130, and that is 50 degrees. So we now know that that is 50 degrees because the angles of a triangle have to add up to um, <clears throat> 180 degrees, right? Okay, now calculate the uh, length of AC for part B. Okay, well, this is a non-right triangle, so you can either use the sine law or the cosine law. And we have two sides lining up here, so we're going to have to use the sine law. And what that is is, you know, sine... A over, you know, side A equals um, sine B over, you know, side B. So in this case, it would be, you know, sine of 55, the one opposite is 25, over sine of 50, uh, whoops, okay, sine of 50 degrees over x. That's what we're, we're uh, solving for. So we can just do 25 times sine 50 divided by sine 55. Okay, so let's do 25 times sine 50 divided by sine 55. Boom! Okay, 23.5 Okay, so this side here is 23.4 meters. Okay, make sure you put your um, units. Okay, so for the next part it says calculate the area of the field ABC. Okay, well that's easy because we have this side here and this side here. So remember that the formula is um, the area equals, let's see, uh, one-half A, B, sine C. So we can just do, you know, in this case, one-half. Now, that's just two sides in the included angle, so we're going to have 23.4 and 25. So it doesn't matter what order you put in, 23.4 and 25, and we're going to take the sine of 75. Okay? And we will get, so let's see, what do we got? So, you know, 0.5 times 23.4. And I did 0.5 because that's one half, obviously. And then, or you could just divide by 2 at the end if you want to. Uh, and then sine uh, 75. Boom. What do we got? 282. So um, if we're going to go with three significant figures, it's going to be 283. Now, you have to be careful with this. You have to put a unit, so it's area, so it's going to be meters squared. So 283 meters squared. Okay, so for the next part, it says N is a midpoint on AB, um, okay, such that CN, CN is perpendicular to AB. Okay, so that means this, these are right angles right here. Okay, M is the midpoint of CN. Okay, so that, that cuts that in half. Um, calculate NM. Okay, so in order to calculate NM, we're going to have to calculate NC first. And we can do this with this right triangle here. We can just use SOHCAHTOA. So I'm just going to make this whole thing, I'm going to make X. Then I'm just going to divide it by 2 to, to find NM. So let's see, we have 55 degrees here. Uh, this would be, you know, 35 degrees right here and 90 degrees. So we have this small, okay, so if that's 35, that's 40 degrees right there. Um, anyway, uh, we might have to use that later. So let's see what we got here. So this is hypotenuse opposite, so it's going to be sine. So we can do the sine of 55 
equals x over 23.4. Now that's easy, we just multiply that, so it's going to be sine 55 uh, times 23.4 equals x, so let's just break out the calculator for that, uh, clear it out, sine 55 times uh, 23.4, and you get um, 19.2. Okay, so the whole thing, so x equals 19.2 meters. Now, we need to divide that by 2 because we have, um, because we're just looking for half of it. We're looking for this area right here. So let's go back to the calculator and just divide it by 2. And we're going to get uh, 9.58. Uh, 9 okay, so... Uh, it's not 9.6. This is where an example where you don't do premature rounding, so it's going to be 9.58 meters. Um, okay, so uh, Nm equals 9.58 meters. Okay, um, back now, and the last part, it says a goat is attached to one end of a rope, a length of 7 meters, okay, the other end of the rope is attached to point M, so there's a goat rolling around here. Okay, no problem. Um, decide whether the goat can reach point P, which is the midpoint of CB. So point P is right here. Okay, so we'll, we'll label that point P. Now it's the midpoint here. This is 25, so that breaks that in half. So that would mean that that's 12.5 meters, and that's 12.5 meters right there. Okay, so... Let's see what they want now. Decide whether the GOAT can reach point P, the midpoint of CB. Justify your answer. Uh, okay. Okay. No problem. We can do that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make um, a triangle here. Now, it helps out that I, I figured out, you know, because this is 55, 90, that's 35. This has to be 40 degrees here. We know, we figured out that this side right here was 9.58 so this side has to be 9.58 um, because it's the midpoint and again this is the midpoint so it cracks this in half so what we want to find here is like what this distance is now fortunately we can do that this is a non right triangle we don't that looks like a 90 degree angle um, and it actually probably yeah it is but you probably wouldn't know that it's uh because you have the midpoint here and the midpoint here it's going to form a right angle but i'm going to use it doesn't matter because you can use um the cosine rule and that's that's better so um what i'm going to do is use the cosine rule so a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus uh 2bc cosine a Okay, so in order to find this, we just do a squared equals, you know, 9.58 squared plus 12.5 squared minus 2 times 9.8, excuse me, 9.58, we and then uh, times 12.5, and then it would be cosine 40 degrees. Okay, so we can, you know, we can just type all that in right here. So we get, let's clear it out, we get uh, 9.58 squared plus 12.5 squared minus uh, 2 times uh, 9.58 times 12.5 Oops, and then what do we want? Cosine what? 40 degrees. Now, whoa, 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 whoa! Something's majorly wrong here. Oh, I forgot to square it. See that? I forgot to square it right there. So, um, okay, that's fine. So second, uh, enter. We'll rewrite it. Okay, and so we'll go back to this, and let's just second insert and we will square it. So it's 12.5 squared now. Okay, so that, you know, that happens. You make a mistake and well, let's fix it. So it's 64.55. Now that is not what our answer is. Obviously that is way too long. So we actually have to take the square root of that.
because that's what a squared equals. So second square root, um, second answer. Okay? Ooh, I don't want that. And we will just bust that out. And so we get 8.03. So our side there, you know, is going to be 8.03 meters. Now, what they ask is decide whether the goat can reach point P, um, the midpoint. Well, no, it can't because look, let's say, I don't know, let's say the goat's going, you know, seven meters like right here. Okay, that's the goat right there. If I knew how to draw, I'd put a little goat there. So they're like, woo, you have a goat. Woo. Oh, yeah, that's a horrible goat. Anyway, um, that's seven meters. The whole thing's 8.03, so um, decide whether it can reach point P. Well, no, it cannot. It can't because, you know, seven is less than 8.03. Okay, so there you go. That's um, a paper two, 15 point or 15 mark paper two trig problem. It's got a lot of stuff going there. We've got right angle trig. We've got sine law, cosine law, uh, everything in between. Uh, good problem. Anyway, hope this helped out. Trig is a, is a tough, um, is tough for some students. So just practice along and, you know, most of the situations are pretty similar. So hopefully this helped you. All right, take it easy.